All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning back into Psych Word. You are now on the couch with Rob Gerard. And on the line right now from Hot 93.7, I have DJ Michi. Michi, you there? What's up, man? What's going on? Not much, man. How's everything? Man, I'm just out here working, working, grinding, just staying busy and, you know, staying focused, man. Absolutely. Now, you've been busy as of late, right? You were down in South by Southwest? Yeah, I actually just got back down there from uh, South by Southwest in Texas. Um, I was down there doing a couple events, uh, doing a couple things for like Revolt TV, um, Pandora, and Spotify House. And I did a couple uh, events with Chris Webby, you know, artist from Connecticut. And um, yeah, man, was just down there just networking and uh, just putting in some work down there, man. Beautiful. That's, that's beautiful to hear. Now, let me ask you, how long have you been DJing for? I've been DJing for, uh, I'd say, professionally, like six, seven years, um, almost ten, you know, fully. Okay. Now, how long you been at 93.7 for? I've been there for, like, going on five years now. Okay. Now, if <laughs> what do you think is the best part of DJing, especially DJing at Connecticut's number one hip-hop station? Um, I mean, as far as for me, the best thing with DJing is being able to travel. Um, that's something that I've just always wanted to do as a kid. You know, growing up, I always wanted to just be able to see everything and be everywhere. So to actually be able to, you know, DJ and travel, doing something that you love doing, and, you know, whether you're making money or not, and just being able to just go other places and, you know, reach other different types of people or meet different people and just see, you know, the different type of cultures of, of uh, you know, music and, and, and what people are just doing in different places that you might not might not have ever been able to go to if I wasn't DJ. You know what I mean? Mm. So um, I think that's probably one of the biggest things, just being able to meet you know some of my favorite, you know, some of the pioneers that I looked up to. Uh, you know, when I started doing what I was doing. Now, who by far has uh, you know? I'm sure at some point you've gotten some type of. Um, some type of shock, right? Some type of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some type of like, oh my God, look who it is. Now, who gave <laughs> who gave you that biggest like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm standing in front of this person right now? Um, Honestly, uh, I can probably say I was, um, I'm a big fan of uh, Ryan Leslie. Ryan Leslie's, uh, you know, he's, a, he's an artist, music producer. Um, somebody that I just definitely look up to as far as his path um, on to what, he, what he's done, what he's accomplished and stuff like that. I know when I met him, out of everybody that I met, and I've, I've met obviously bigger people than him, but he's probably somebody that kind of gave me that kind of shot just because he's somebody that is like overseas a lot and you really never, you know, you really never see him like that and stuff like that. So to actually be able to see him and meet him and talk to him that was kind of like a shock for me, you know what I mean? Um, I've met a lot of other people, a lot of people that I definitely looked up to and I definitely have respect for, but I definitely would say he's probably one of them. Definitely, definitely. Now, are you actually helping to interview these artists or are you just behind the scenes doing the music and then talking to them off air? Well, what I do is, um, as far as uh, for station, um, I produce the afternoon show, so I do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. When it comes to, uh, you know, content um, that we talk about on the radio, uh, things that we post on the website, you know, to keep, uh, like, the news and everything current, um, you know, finding music to play. Um, and when it comes to, like, interviews and different things like that, I, I also help build the interviews, you know what I mean? I sit back and I, um, you know, figure out questions and figure out, you know, which angle, but, you know, the different things that we're going to talk about, you know, within the interview and different things like that, so... I'm definitely hands-on when it definitely comes to that. You know what I mean? And then I've been done in my own interviews, you know, on my own with different artists and different things like that. So that's what I'm all about, man. Absolutely. Now, are you originally from Connecticut? Uh, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. But I've been living in Connecticut for going on like 10 years, or almost more than 10 years. So I'm pretty much from Connecticut <laughs> at this point. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Now... What advice would you have for for you know these kids that are up and coming that want to be DJs? And 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 this is a two part question. How do you feel about the future of the DJ profession? Where do you see it going? Um, well, I'll start with the advice. My biggest thing is uh, you really got to love it. You know what I mean? You you really have to love it because at the end of the day, 
um, you know, when it comes to, oh, I want to do this because I want to make money or I want to, you know, that type of situation, it's, it's very different because, especially being out here in Connecticut because it's such a smaller market than most, um, there's, you're, not, you're not really going to make a lot of money, you know what I'm saying, compared to, like, if you was in a, you know, a top 10 market or, or a number one market or anything like that, so... I think the biggest thing as far as, you know, people out here, um, you definitely got to love it first, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you're just going to get frustrated because you're going to see that it does take a lot of time and it does take a lot of work to actually make things happen, you know what I'm saying, when you're in a smaller market. So one one is just definitely love, love what you do, you know what I mean? Um, practice, 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 network and meet people, um, you know, follow the people that you look up to, you know what I'm saying? If you look up to... You know, this DJ, that DJ, look look to see what they did, you know, during their grind and what worked for them, what didn't work for them, learn from their mistakes. So I would definitely say that would be that. Um, as far as the where I see DJing going, um, my thing is I'm a, I'm young, you know, I mean? I'm only, I'm I'm still I'm only twenty six. Um, so I'm still, you know, fairly young to compare to a lot of a lot of the DJs. And uh I think the biggest thing with me is I I learned around the time where there was still a respect as far as what a DJ was. And um, I think that it's starting to be tainted just because it's a lot easier to be a DJ now because, you know, it's a lot easier to just, you know, they, they're starting to make equipment that's just so easy. You know what I'm saying? You can you can go pick up a Serato box, plug in your laptop, and boom, you're a DJ. Mm. You, know, um, you know, years ago, it was never like that. Years ago, you had to... You know, you had to go buy the expensive equipment. You had to go, you know, shop around and, and find the records, find the music. You had to, you know, uh, be friends with one of the best, you know, good DJs around the way so you can be able to get all the exclusive music and different things like that. So I think just the art of DJing definitely changed, um, you know, for better, for worse, you know, however anybody wants to look at it. But I definitely think that... Um, at the end of the day, you just got to look at it as just respect, respect the craft. You know what I'm saying? Respect the craft because there's a lot of people that do it and really respect it and really love it. And there's a lot of people that do it just because, you know, for, for whatever reason, they want to make money off of it. They want to be popular. They want to get girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That mm. type of situation. And it's like a lot of that stuff is like I, I don't like and I don't agree with just because you're standing in the way of people that actually really want to do this and really love doing this. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that, that's how I look at it with that. Absolutely. Now, being from New York, who are some of the DJs that you grew up on? Was it like a Red Alert, Funkmaster Flex, Louis DeVito? Yep. Definitely Red Alert. Um, definitely Funkmaster Flex. Uh, uh, DJ Ross Swift was like probably the reason why I started DJing. Um, but yeah, like definitely them, uh, Premier, um, you know, Red Alert was definitely probably the DJ that made me want to actually be on the radio. Mm -hmm. You know, like, um, growing up and stuff like that. So definitely them. I definitely looked up to them. Kid Capri. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those DJs definitely in New York. So Now, you, you have mentioned DJ Premier. Do you do anything involving making any kind of beats or anything like that? Or are you just pretty much staying on the DJ tip? Oh, no, not at all. I'm I'm an art. I tell everybody I'm an artist at... at at heart, you know what I'm saying? I'm an artist first. So when it comes to uh, just music in general, uh, I started music as far as like playing instruments and different things like that, like when I was younger. So I always just been into like, you know, playing instruments and, and, and making music and making records and different things like that. So I've always done that, you know what I mean? And um, so yeah, I make beats, I produce, I songwrite as well. So that's definitely something that I do as well. And, and Premier is definitely somebody that has been like a big influence in my life because of that. You know what I mean? Mm, absolutely. And if you're just tuning in, everyone, we are on the line right now with DJ Michi from Hot 93.7. Now, to stay on DJ Premier real quick, he's got some, uh, you know, he, he's he's made some moves in Connecticut as well, hooking up with Apathy for some tracks and, and, and Webby as well, I think, right? Yep, yep. yep. So we was actually we was actually at South by Southwest with Premier and and you know Webby was out there with him. So how yeah. cr how crazy is that? <laughs> just just sitting there chilling with uh, DJ Premier. It's got to be crazy. Yeah, he. I mean, he's actually definitely another one that I was you know definitely shocked. You know, meeting him and just uh, being in the presence of him because you know his catalog is, is so long with just the people that he's you know done records for, for the people that he's worked with. 
you know, just uh, being being somebody that um, you know, definitely, you know, definitely had his hands when it comes when it came to making hip hop what it is today. So uh, you know, it, it, it was it was just a, a, an amazing amazing experience. You know, just being around him. Definitely, definitely. Now. In your opinion, I'm not sure how much of an ear you have to the street in Connecticut. Now, who would you, besides Apathy and Webby, obviously, the two big guys from Connecticut, do you have your eyes on any other hip-hop artists that are in Connecticut that maybe listeners should look out for? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, There's a lot of guys out here. It's, it's, a, it's really, really a lot of talent in Connecticut. Uh, right now, I'm listening to uh, this guy named Prestige from uh, New Britain, Connecticut. There's um, uh, this guy named Annoyed that I like. Um, there's, I mean, it, it's a lot. It's, a, it's really a lot of talented artists out here. Ace is working. He's out here doing his thing. A uh, young boy named Splash doing his thing. Vera Maxwell, um, you know, she's a female MC out here doing her thing. Uh, it's, it's really a lot of artists out here just really making noise. Mm. And um, our really figuring it out and really you know finding a way so i'm 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 very proud of you know connecticut music right now absolutely absolutely well dj michi if any of our listeners want to reach out to you contact you you on social media can you give any of that out yeah everything uh dj michi um instagram at dj michi twitter at dj michi you can hit on my website um dj and it has you know everything that you want to know about me events videos music you know, everything is up there, so you can check that out as well. And, um, you know, my email, if you want to reach out to me, send me music, anything like that, is uh, bookdjmichi at gmail.com. You know what I'm saying? You can send whatever you want. If you got music, if you want to, you know, conduct some business, we can get some things going. Like, hit me up, man. I'm, I'm always I'm always around the work. Absolutely. Well, DJ Michi, thank you very much for stopping by Psych Word Radio Show. It was a pleasure having you on. Nah, thanks for having me. Thanks for the support, man. Absolutely.